Hi guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My channel is all about lifestyle, fashion, DIYs, doula work, and travel. And if that sounds like something you guys might be interested in, stay tuned. Today, I'm going to be unboxing a luxury item that I'm so excited to share with you guys. I got it for my birthday. My birthday was Saturday, the 18th of June, and it was a milestone birthday. And so I thought that I would get a milestone gift for myself. So please stay tuned, like, subscribe if this sounds like anything you might be interested in. And we're gonna jump right into unboxing my luxury item. Thank da, you for da, da, da. Cartier, beautiful red bag, nice thick paper, gold writing. And inside dun, da, 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 is my special treat. So first I'll start with my certificate the certificate comes in this the same kind of red design as the bag it has like some sort of groove on it and kind of looks the same it's a cardboard case and basically has my individual serial number and the date I purchased it this is the certificate of authenticity saying that I have an 18 carat 750% gold that they certify is authentic from Cartier. As you can tell, must be jewelry, right? What else would it be? This is my certificate of authenticity that goes back in the bag. And here I have my receipt for my purchase. I got my receipts okay and the guy was like you know you have to sign and I was like okay feels like I'm buying a house but I'm not buying a house but it felt like I was buying a house so in my Cartier bag I have this lovely wrapped sealed on both sides I'm gonna open it for the first time with you guys Try not to, oh, there we go. Try not to tear the paper too much. <clears throat> okay. It's beautifully wrapped, guys. Oh, God. oh, guys. Guys, 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 guys. A famous red box. Okay, let's see. Okay, are you ready? Beautiful. Just beautifully handcraft. Pushed a little button, and there we are. Look at that, guys. Look at that. The signature love bracelet. I got that for myself for my birthday, and it is just gorgeous. So when I got there, you have to make an appointment. So I made an appointment. I'm going to just close this up. Ah! I made an appointment and I made it a month ago. Made it for my birthday, which was really nice. So we got there, it took us up to the floor where these bracelets are. They have about four or five, maybe six floors, Cartier Mansion. And we went to the fourth floor. We got a private room. We had, you know, a seller who sat down with us and just treated us really, really nicely. So he asked me if I wanted something to drink and I was like, oh, what do you have? And he's like, oh, I have water, I have coffee. And I was like, what do you have that's birthday worthy? So he was like, oh, I have champagne. They bought three glasses of rosé champagne, which was delicious. It was so good we asked him where we could get it and he was like we only it's cartier it's only for cartier they don't make it for anyone else so you can't buy it. and i was like Ugh, this is so delicious so i sipped that like 
finished my drink. They brought us some little chocolates and then they had some perfume, like sample perfume that you could have that was right there that you could spray. So I was spraying all of that all over myself. Those smelled really nice. And so he brought out the bracelets. He brought out a couple of different pieces, of, you know, pieces of, um, of jewelry. I knew what I wanted, so he didn't really have to sell me anything. But we did look at a couple of other pieces. Picked what we wanted, tried on everything, drank our champagne, ate some chocolate, took some pictures, took some videos, which they were really fine with us taking videos, which was great. And I was like, oh, I was like, we could take a video. He's like, sure, go ahead. It's a great experience. I just felt so like honored to be able to do this for myself. Like I work really hard. I'm a doula here in, um, New York City. For those of you that don't know what a doula is, I'm a birth worker, so I support birthing people in um, their decisions on how they want to birth their babies. So I support them before birth, I support them during labor, and then I support them afterwards in the postpartum period. So I basically try to save lives, right? Um, especially for people who look like me. Um, so that's what I do, and I make really good money but I didn't want to, I wanted to save for it. So I could buy it at any time, but I was like, I want, it's, you know, it's an investment piece, right? So I'm not like going to buy seven of these every year, right? But I did want it to be a special birthday. I didn't want to have a party like, you know, with the pandemic and the panini and whatever else people are calling it out here. I didn't want to like have a party. Like I could have spent this money and like threw myself a party or went away. I wanted to buy jewelry, so this was just like, oh my gosh, I'm doing this for myself. I don't need anyone to help me do it. And it just felt really good, guys. It really felt really good to Raphael like. Raphael was <laughs> really funny and he was amazing. And he was like, I'll see you next year when you come and buy me another, when you come and buy another piece, okay? And I was like, absolutely. For my husband's birthday, not this birthday this year, but next year, I think I'm gonna get him something from there. Um, he's very low key, very laid back. He's probably not even going to want it, but I'm going to see if I can get him something that we could be matching, even if it's a ring, right? Just get him a ring. Like, you know, we've been together 23 years. We've been married 14. So 23 years. Am I getting ahead of myself? No. We yes, yeah, so we've been together 23 years. Okay. So we've been together 23 years, married for 14. We actually was engaged for nine years and then we got married. Long story for another day. But in any event, I think it'd be nice to maybe get him something. Uh, he's probably gonna watch this and see it, but whatever, anyway, that's we'll, we'll burn that bridge when we get to it. But it was such a great experience. Afterwards, we went out to brunch. I have very high anxiety about eating out. So when we got there and we couldn't sit in the garden in the back of the restaurant, I was like, ah. Ugh, I want to go. I don't know if I can sit here because I don't like sitting on the sidewalk. I really, I never really liked to sit outside on the sidewalk on the outside of like the restaurant sidewalk eating area where dogs and people pass by. So that always stressed me out before COVID. And now with COVID, um, it just, it just, you know, it's like ugh, worse. Anyway, pause for a second because it's like, the birds outside are so loud. Let me see if I can get them off my window. Fun fact, aside from the fire trucks going by or the ambulance or the police, because now that's the police, the squeaking noise that I heard before were not the birds. It was my ceiling fan, which I totally <laughs> forgot squeaks. So I had to cut that off. After we ate, we popped over to my daughter's um, hair salon where she does hair downtown. And we kind of hung out there. We had some more wine. My mom was there, my son was there. My husband wound up going home to get the house ready for my cake and ice cream. And my mom got really intoxicated. She's a lightweight. We only drank like rose champagne. Well, I had champagne all day, I guess. And then she had some, we had a bottle at brunch and then we had some Pinot Grigio at my daughter's job. So she was like, she was done, right? I was literally ready to cancel her cause she was wilding out. But in and I'm so thankful for, you know, being able to do that for myself, right? And it just feels good when you can do stuff for yourself and you don't have to depend on people. So aside from 
my wonderful purchase that I got for myself. I'm happy that I have it. So, um, because it was my birthday, and maybe they do this to everyone, but anyway, he gave me a box of these Brazilian chocolates. They're like high single malt scotch whiskey chocolate. It's a woman owned business that makes these chocolates. That's so cool. So I haven't opened these either. Okay, wait, let's see. Let's just take the, can I take this off? Yeah. Let's just take these off and see. Oh, I can't. Mm, I can't see anything. And so I'm not going to open these yet. But kudos to them for getting their chocolates in the Cartier Mansion. Um, oh, a little f fun fact also. He said that the bracelet was made in the 70s. Okay. So it was designed by Aldo Cipullo. And the meaning of this collection is the human interaction. It's love. Yeah. It's somebody that loves you. You put that on your wrist. The interaction of the person. And it was a symbol of love. It's called the love bracelet. And that the guy, I think he was saying that made it, wanted to show love and that, you know, we needed to love one I another. I love myself, um, all of me, <laughs> every inch, every lump, every bump, all of it. I love all of me. And so this is just a symbolization of the love that I have for myself and the people that are around me and that, and that love me. This is just, you know, uh, a sign of accomplishment in what I do and how I help people and how I love what I do as a doula. And so I'm really happy about that. And on top of that, I think they only give you like four sample perfumes, but he gave me six. So we have the um, Pasha Cartier Edition Noir. So that one. There were two in there that smelled so good. La Panthre. I don't know how to pronounce that. And then um, Promise. And then we have another Pasha perfume. And then Oud and Santel. Oh, let me see what this one smells like. Oud and Santel. Let's see. Mm, that almost smells like old lady. I guess I gotta just let it set in and see. I don't want to smell like rich old lady. You know, that's a smell. Like you've been in Bloomingdale's or, you know, Saks Fifth Avenue. You walk past an old rich woman and you're like, that's what old rich lady smells like. Don't necessarily want to smell like that. Rich, but not old. I guess it's growing on me. I just have to see. I don't usually spray the perfume on my body because my pH and chemistry, and I sweat a lot, so it changes throughout the day. So I usually just spray it on my clothes because it smells like it's supposed to smell on fabric and sometimes it doesn't smell like it's supposed to smell on one skin so it's okay it's okay i don't know if i would um yeah i don't know if i would i don't know if i would buy that one but in any event or maybe it's for men who the heck knows guys i just want to thank you for watching I appreciate you. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. It helps my algorithm. I am a new YouTuber. I have an Instagram. I have TikTok. I have a birth Instagram. It's just for you doula where you can see everything birth that I'm doing. And then I have a personal Instagram where you can see everything fashion and family that I'm doing or DIYs that I do. And then I have a uh, TikTok where I just have fun like I just dance and that sort of thing so check out all of my other social medias stay tuned for other videos with the stay screwdriver because the only way to get this off is to unscrew it the hospital actually have screwdrivers there to take off jewelry like this um and the guy was like Raphael was like you're going to get addicted and I can see myself Getting the smaller one 
next year. Right, thanks for watching. I appreciate you. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Force like them. It sucks me out.